My wife and I just celebrated our 35th wedding anniversary. So now we're empty nesters. It's just the two of us and our little dog, Bella. Bella's a Boston Terrier, which are famous for two traits, uh, snoring and passing gas. So Bella and I bonded instantly. But Bella has one superpower. If a morsel of food ever falls on the floor, she devours it at warp speed so fast it's undetectable to the human eye. And this comes in handy when our daughter-in-law comes over and wants us to taste her latest vegan experiment. As soon as she turns her back, it disappears thanks to daddy's little helper. Where are the dads out there? Stick your hand in there, dads, right? Keep your hand up if you have a teenager. Who's got a teenager? Over here, what's your name, sir? Adam. Adam. How old's your teenager, Adam? Oh, I've got three. I've got uh, 16, 18, I guess the one's 20 now. Let's take the 16-year-old, Adam. Real quick, what'd that 16-year-old get you for Christmas? <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Trick question. I knew the answer, Adam, not much. <laughs> But good news, Adam, because I am here tonight spearheading a campaign to put an end to an ugly trend in this country. And that is the trend of dads getting the short end of the gift-giving stick. Are you with me, gentlemen? And if you don't believe me when I tell you dads get lousy gifts, I want you to take a stroll through the nearest mall the week before Christmas or the week before Father's Day, and you will see merchandise on display you do not see any other time of the year. Why? because it is junk they have dragged from the bowels of the stockroom because people are compelled to get something for the old man. <laughs> Ridiculous gifts. A barometer for his desk. <laughs> Just what every man hopes for. <laughs> Come on, Adam. You're plowing through a stack of paperwork. You don't want to be bothered turning on the radio to get the barometric pressure. <laughs> and it ends up on your credit card. <laughs> what the heck is that on my barometer? <laughs> Ridiculous gifts. Combination shoehorn lint brush. <laughs> Just makes me want to put some shoes on. <laughs> Three golf balls. <laughs> that won't get me off the first tee box. <laughs> a leather bookmark shaped like a trout. <laughs> if you even hesitate in front of the leather bookmark shaped like a trout, stop yourself. <laughs> and give your father the $3. <laughs> Or my all-time favorite, lawn tools. How'd that be, Adam? A brand spanking new rake. <laughs> Try showing up on Mother's Day with a mop with a ribbon on it. <laughs> See what kind of reception you get. <laughs> That's not all, Mom. Rubber gloves! <laughs> I love you. It's a Swiffer. <laughs> By the way, you think dads get lousy gifts? <laughs> Try being a stepdad. <laughs> I got stepkids. Stepkids are fun. <laughs> if you enjoy correcting other people's mistakes. <laughs> oh, I know some of you would really like to laugh at that joke. <laughs> But you'd prefer to have a pleasant evening. <laughs> oh, I love my stepkids. I just don't know how you discipline kids anymore. I don't know how you do it. Uh, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Moved to California some years ago. And it was culture shock. You see things in California you never saw back east. I'll give you an example. On a regular basis, I see 15-year-old kids coming home with their tongues pierced. And I'll tell you right now, Adam, when I was 15, I strolled in the house with my tongue pierced. My mother would have ripped it out faster than a redneck taking a daredevil lure out of a smallmouth bass. <laughs> I don't know how you did 
disciplined kids. I know how my parents did. My parents were engineers. Do you have any engineers in the room? Any engineers? Where are you? Where are you? All right, what's your name, my friend? Tab. Tab. Tab, let me tell you a little bit about Tab, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Do you remember the kid back in grade school who used to push the projector cart down the hall on film strip day? That was Tab right there. Give it up right there in the AV club. And this is a man that has a hard job. He works 50 hours a week trying to dream up the worst set of circumstances that ever could possibly come down the pipe. These people breathe negative energy all day long. My father used to go to work with a belt and a pair of suspenders at the same time. Backup system. Those pants were staying up come hell or high water. And he knew when high water was coming because he had a barometer on his desk. Now, I never met Tab before in my life, and I'm going to tell you his favorite expression of the world. I want you to watch his wife. Favorite expression? Worst case scenario. <laughs> Look, she's laughing. He got a tingle. <laughs> I knew it, Tab, because my parents disciplined me using the worst case scenario method. My mother had me convinced I could be laying on a stretcher with my lung hanging out and not admitted to an emergency room if my underpants weren't spotless. <laughs> then when I was 12, I told her I might get a tattoo. I said to my mother reasoning with me, saying, you're only 12, a tattoo will last forever. My mother says to me, someday, you may be wanted by the police. Get a tattoo, they'll have a positive identification on you. <laughs> we'll visit you in the big house. <laughs> You know how they say the optimist sees the glass half full, the pessimist half empty? <laughs> My mother saw it as another dish she had to wash. <laughs> and you know how most parents say to their children, brush your teeth every day, you'll have a beautiful smile, get ahead in your life. My mother says, you don't brush those teeth. They'll rot right out of your face. <laughs> and then someday you may be burned beyond recognition. <laughs> And we won't be able to identify you with your dental charts. <laughs> then your life insurance company will refuse to pay the claim. <laughs> your family will be left in the streets. Your kids will get tattoos and end up in jail. <laughs> I said, yeah, Mom, well, if ever am burned beyond recognition, I won't have to worry about clean underpants, will I? <laughs> Pretty sure they're combustible. <laughs> that was the first time she spanked me with the Hot Wheels track. <laughs> <laughs> but just for the record, to this day, I have no tattoos, all my teeth, and I'm wearing clean underpants. <laughs> I had, to, I had to babysit the other day, and I'm not the right guy for this, you know? I, it's true, I'm not. I, I, I have a little niece, she's six years old, I love her dearly. But here's what happened, she handed me a bedtime story to read. Now Tab would have read it quietly to himself, because he's an engineer. I read it right out loud. Now I'd heard of this book my whole life, I'd never ever read it. Uh, clap your hands, you ever hear of a book called Hansel and Gretel? For those of you that don't remember, what a cheerful little bedtime story this is. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel's the happy tale of two children whose father leaves them in a forest to die. <laughs> Somewhere in Germany. And they get captured by an evil, wicked witch who decides to eat them. But not right away. First, she's got to fatten them up in a cage. So these two innocent children are forced out of self-defense to break out of the cage and kill the witch by pushing her into a fiery oven. Pleasant dreams! <laughs> Whoa! I don't understand the stories and songs we do for kids. 
How about this one? Rock a bye baby in the treetop. Who in the history of mankind ever put the baby in the treetop? Michael Jackson? <laughs> Now, just for argument's sake, let's say this really did happen one time, many years ago, and some foolish person decided it would be a good idea to put the baby in the cradle and take the cradle all the way to the top of the tree and put it on a suspicious branch <laughs> on a windy day. And the wind blew and the bow broke and the cradle fell, and there was a tragedy. <laughs> Who at this point decided to write a song about this? <laughs> <laughs> to memorialize the event <laughs> with the intention of singing this song to children <laughs> to help them fall asleep. <laughs> You don't have to look far for the jokes. 